The summit. Let's talk about the summit. So, my friends and I went with a group about three years ago and hiked the summit. It took us about maybe 13 hours. We started at six in the morning and we had a big group, I think maybe 25 people. So it was challenging, you know, but I was training, I was going to the gym, um, hiking Tiwi probably twice a week, um, trying to do Mi Bomb every week and then just halfway to Sema Village, about a 45 minute walk. So I felt prepared. It was challenging. You know, it was a, there were a lot of challenges during that hike. Very sore at the end. I remember my knees locked up. I think at one point I was walking backwards and, you know, at the end of the hike, walking in the dark for a little bit, but we managed, it was difficult and then, okay, did it. So now fast forward and decided to do the summit again and prepared again, going to the gym, training, you know, also incorporating yoga, breathing techniques into it. So I am fully prepared and also hiking once a week, not only Tiwi, but some other places as well, going over boulders, going up steep hills to train for the summit. This time around, we started at around 2.30 in the morning. Uh, the plan was to, you know, try to be at the summit by sunrise and just to have a different experience of <laughs> walking in the dark for several hours. Um, and I didn't share this with you during some of the videos. This is why I wanted to explain this beforehand. So, you know, it was a tough start for me. I, at one point I fell, um, I was okay, you know, just hit my hand and, uh, you know, ego, if anything was, you know, the only problem for me. However, recovered from that, but just being walking in the dark, I don't have the best eyesight and I had old glasses on. So, you know, even with torches, it was me just watching my feet, watching the loose rocks. Um, and yeah, it was just, it was really challenging for me this time around. And I remember posting in the group, you know, these are some things that you should have with you that will help you during the hike. This is what helped me. And for whatever reason, I really struggled this time around. Um, my feet at one point, my legs just did not want to move. And at one point I also thought to myself, why am I doing this again? The summit is challenging. I've done two day hikes in Oman. I've done four day hikes outside of Oman. And I just don't know what happened this time around. I even had gone for a hike all the way to Mibam and back. You know, I think sometimes we have these moments where we train for something, we get ready for something, and for whatever happens, for whatever happens, whatever reason, things just are not working for us. Um, and, you know, I had all the food, the protein, the snacks, uh, the electrolytes with me. I had plenty of sleep that week. I ate well that week. Uh, I did not eat any junk, no sweets, cut everything out. So I was doing all the right things to train. Um, and, you know, we just have those moments, I guess, where sometimes the mountain gets the better, the best of us. Um, but this is the first time. I think, I mean, I have had my moments of panic and crying because of Via Ferrata or abseiling, I'll admit, but that was because, you know, I was afraid and I could say, I'm afraid, I don't know what to do, I don't know where to place my feet, so I panic and I know this about myself. When I panic, I freak out, I tend to just stay still, don't want to move, but this time around, I mean, there are so many challenges that I know. I already know what I'm getting myself into because I've done the summit before, but I just don't know what happened. So I think I'm going to, I left my frustrations on that mountain. My friends and I had a good laugh afterwards, but at the time, oof, it was tough. But I made it, I came, I saw, I conquered, right? That's what the, uh, that's what the saying is. Um, so I wanna thank my friends for getting me through it. And I'm going to share the video with you. Good morning. We are making our way to the summit, Jebel Shams. We started at around 2.30 in the morning to reach 
for sunrise. I will have more updates when there's more light. Oh, it's been an interesting morning. You know, walking in the dark, we've got our torches, but lots of rocks to pay attention to. But let's see, the challenges continue as we make our way up. How's everyone doing so far? Very good. Very well. <laughs> Our leader, Ahmed, will chat in a bit. Thank you. Finally, some light. Okay, we're told three more Ks to go, which, as we know, is never the truth. But here we go. <laughs> Carry on. I've oh, got some gorgeous views. This is our path right now. Have a nice fire going. Taking a short break for some food. And Ahmed, what's the estimated time of arrival, would you say? Be honest. I think. Uh... <laughs> I think so too. Okay, the break is over. Now we have about, yeah, I said an hour. So maybe, hopefully 45 minutes left, but here we go. The landscape is now a little bit different. Trail a little different now. And of course, a leader is always prepared with first aid. <laughs> no, this side is rubbing. Ah, so I'm a told me to take a video so people can see this first aid in action. First aid in the highest point in Gulf countries. Very good, very professional. Uh, nobody else can <laughs> Gorgeous view. An update. We are kind of sort of almost there. This is the last down part. And let's see what's on the other side. Okay, we just have this little bit left, and then hopefully the other side will be flat. Well, finally we reached the summit. Oh, woohoo! We did it. Oh, I didn't think we were gonna get here, but we made it. That's all that matters. Then everyone is over there by the fire. I'm going to join them. But this is it. And also when you reach the summit, they have a notebook. So you can sign your name and take your photo. This is summit, Ahmed, Elabri, how are you? I am good, thank you. We've done a lot of adventures together. Yeah. And uh, Ahmed is a great guide and he takes us on a lot of hikes. So today you decided to do something different and we left at 2.30 in the morning. So yeah. why did you decide to start this early instead of the regular time? Because I tried it once before, uh, but that time it was a full moon hike. So uh, I like the, the idea to hike at night because you will not see the distance, you will not feel uh, much tired as in the morning. And also because now in the winter, the, Daylight is short than summer, so I don't, I'm trying to avoid coming uh, back to the camp at night. 
Okay, and we always appreciate going with you on, oh, as they go up the hill, we always appreciate you taking us on different adventures. So if somebody wants to contact you and do a hike or anything, um, where can you take them? What kind of hikes can they go on? I can take them, so most hikes you can, especially in Gabal uh, Akhtar, Gabal Krebs. I do also carry when caving, all types of adventures. Okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much for another Please great welcome. adventure, and thank you so much for the car ride down. It was much needed and appreciated. Yeah, thank you. Oh. Okay, I will leave Ahmed's details in the description. If you want to contact him, you will have a great time. And that's it for now, so now it's time to stretch, eat, and rest. Yeah.